Uh, <laughs> I'm still blown away, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. So I'm in the city of Chongqing, China. I had a bit of a nightmare getting here. I'd originally booked a flight from Bangkok to Chongqing and then back within three or four days. That was all fine and I got to the check-in counter. They basically said that I needed a visa. This is just a detail that I didn't read when I was preparing because that's what I do. Unfortunately, I had to book another flight out of Chongqing. So if you have a Western passport such as a US passport or a UK passport or Australian passport, then you can only stay if you're moving on to another country under what's called a visa transit or what's it called? A transit visa. So it means you can't go there for a holiday and come back from the place you flew. You need to be moving on to another country. I don't know why they have this rule, but I was in Shanghai before and I didn't have to do this. When I got to the desk, I had to book another flight on the spot, which I paid about 4,000 baht for. Then I got my flight and I thought everything was great. And then as soon as I arrived in Chongqing, the staff ran up to me. They said that this flight was invalid because it was basically flying from Chongqing and had a layover in another Chinese city and then to Korea but I can actually only fly out of Chongqing. So if you're visiting here, please bear that in mind. You need to fly out of the same city that you flew into. But yeah, that was a nightmare between that and getting re-entry permits. But the, the immigration is a long and quite scary process. <laughs> Very intimidating. Very under pressure. Yeah. Anyways, I'm happy I'm here. This is an amazing city, as you're going to see. We're staying in the intercontinental Chong Chongqing. Raffles City. So let me show you the room. We got an upgrade. So this is just a quick POV, but... So we've just been here for the last hour taking pictures of this spot and then out of nowhere this whole skyline just lights up. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, they kind of all came on progressively. Look at this. And the bridge as well. This is uh, actually the video is doing it zero justice. So we're going to try and go for food here, somewhere, this place, I uh, heard hot pot is a big thing here, uh, <laughs> I'm still blown away, this is crazy, this is actually crazy. Alright, we're going to try and find somewhere to eat in this labyrinth of a place, I don't really know how it works. Uh, yeah, we're lost inside this labyrinth, trying to get up to where the food is. Oh, it's a real sweet. Okay, this is like a dungeon. Street food. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, even if it's here, as long as we can eat. Alright, we finally got somewhere for uh, hot pot. I will say, guys, get a SIM card when you come here and get the Google Translate app because no one knows any English, not even the bare minimum basics, which is fine. I, I don't expect them to, but um, communication is particularly hard here. Um, I'm using my Google Translate app and having them record their voice into the phone and then translate to me, but it's, it's helped us so far. Not gonna lie, it looks spicy AF. I thought Thailand is spicy. Right, let's check out these uh, questionable sausages. Try this very spicy ass looking soup. <laughs> yeah. 
I had the same reaction. I cough a lot. <laughs> one, one more time. Don't but, my, what do you say? I don't think they can have this. Guys, helping us out with some seasoning to make it less spicy. Look at that big baby. Oh, it's the next day, Friday. We just absolutely crashed last night because we only had one hour sleep before we caught our flight to China. And then yesterday was just the most busy and stressful day ever. But I got eight and a half hours sleep last night and I know that because of my wood band. You guys should get one of these, they are game changers. Yeah, so we're just having coffee in bed before we go out. What'd you get? Cappuccino. Cappuccino. I got Americano. Hot cap. Hot cap. Yeah, nice hot cap, but no oat milk. Uh, they don't have oat milk. They don't have oat milk. I don't think they cap. cater to basic white bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're gonna go to some rooftop plaza that looks like it's on the ground, but it is in fact 22 floors up. We've seen it on TikTok. But I just wanted to remind you guys, if you are coming here, um, set up Alipay. So you connect your card to the Alipay and then you just scan the code. A lot of places don't take cash, pretty much nowhere takes card. And we got into a situation last night at the restaurant where we um, went for a hot pot. So we tried it beforehand. We tried like two RMB and it went through. But then when it came to eating the meal and actually paying and paying the full amount to pay more than the two RMB, it asked us to send a verification code to our bank. We couldn't use the one time password because we've got um, like roaming SIM cards in. And then our SIM cards that can receive the one time password, they don't pick up signal here. So we were like kind of stuck there for a minute. Set up Alipay before you go um, and make sure to put roaming on your own number instead of getting different SIM cards. That way you can use a one-time password and pay for anything Alipay. Once you've got Alipay sorted, you can pretty much pay for everything. But let's look at the view today. It's looking pretty foggy. A bit more clear than yesterday, actually. I'm a city boy, so you know I love this shit. So I'll tell you my general thoughts after one day in Chongqing. Chongqing, however you pronounce it. Not that I've experienced it that much, but people are actually surprisingly nice. Um, obviously we're in intercontinental, so everyone's gonna be nice, but even the staff that are serving us in the hot pot restaurant were just so patient, friendly, and helpful. Not really aggressive like some of the Chinese people can be. Prices seem to be pretty okay for a big city. Weather is kind of mid. It's nice, it's like during November, it's, it's 20, 21 degrees. And then at nighttime, it goes down to 16 degrees. And it's actually like a little bit chilly. You can feel a breeze. So we're in the Raffle City Mall, I think. It's uh, it's all part of the one big complex where our hotel is. Kind of reminds me of Marina Bay Sands, if you've ever been there. Um, and we're getting coffee called Manor. Um, there's a few people in this city that could learn some manners. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no, everyone's, everyone's lovely. <laughs> yeah, so Chongqing is a mountainous city as you can see here. It looks like so many times you're at the exit because you see a street and then you head out to that street and you're on like the fifth floor, the fourth floor. <laughs> We're lost right now. <laughs> Guys, look at the size of the queue for sexy tea. Think it's sexy in there? This part's like Hong Kong. It's kind of like old, mixed in with the new. We're literally staying way up there. Hey guys, this is the famous plaza. Um, it's quite hard to find. It's called Koixing Lao, uh, which is a hospital. But yeah, it's famous because it just looks like a normal plaza you'd see in the city center on ground level. And then you get to the edge. This is so China. But you come over here and then realize you're, you know, miles off the ground. Actually really trippy. Look at that bridge going across. Right, so we're just stopping for a quick bite to eat. Yeah, this is like a burger place. Here we go. This is called Bee Burger, I think. That's good. That is good. It doesn't look amazing, but it's good. Another long queue for another sexy tea. Yeah, we just experienced teenagers taking pictures of us on the, on the train. Pretty much everyone's staring at us. We're here at Elizabeth Station. This is the monorail that goes through a building. Uh, we actually were just on that monorail, just went through the building. 
So now we're gonna go outside and show it from the other side, show the penetration. Yeah, everyone's just waiting for this one moment where the train goes through. And, uh, Train. <laughs> We're in a Chinese supermarket here, mainly for booze. Um, we found some delicious alcoholic drinks down here. I'm gonna review these later. This is all alcoholic. I think this is plum wine. You know, like these ones too. Really. Sad that we're most interested in booze. It's 52%. See the selection. Wow. Or noodles? Yeah, maybe we'll try some noodles. Strawberry cakes. Chinese Pringles. Finger licking braised pork flavor. Sizzled barbecue. Cucumber. Let's do it just to um, curb our appetite. Yeah. So we're just getting ready to go out here and uh, just look at this. Wow. That is full on cyberpunk. Oh my God. We're in the residence bar of the Intercontinental. Just look at the fuck. This is like peak light up time, everything is lit. Um, we're just gonna get drunk. What are these? Dumplings? Yes, it's spicy lobster dumpling. Oh, yes. Yeah. Tartar. Oh, sorry. This is tuna tartar. Tartar. What kind of this? We got Malbec. Wagyu beef um, bolognese. Uh, it'd be funny if we did the lady in the tramp thing. <laughs> you eat either end and then it slurps and do a kiss. I tell you. <laughs> This one's cool because it's above the water. I've just been served espresso in bed. Okay, so this is the clearest uh, our view has been since we've got here. Completely clear skies today. But I can just give you an idea of like how absolutely massive this city is. And just how cool it is, the way it's like completely enclosed by mountains. We're 55 floors up here for reference. And even though it's known as a cyberpunk city, a lot of buildings are actually very old. We're here in the uh, Tag coffee shop. We made a pineapple Americano. And it's not like subtle pineapple. This just tastes like a full on pineapple. And what'd you get? Blue oat milk latte. Blue oat milk latte. Does it taste blue? A bit. Back here at Sexy Tea, we'll see just how sexy it is. Looks a bit complicated, just like a few steps. Yeah, I can see this being going horribly wrong. Yeah, we didn't know how to order, so we uh, just got the people next to us to order. This, this lovely girl helped us. Thank you, Shay Shay. <laughs> well, this is a bigger operation than Starbucks. This better be the sexiest tea I've ever had. So I don't know any Chinese, but anything's name Bo must be my top. <laughs> like, finally got some sexy tea. Uh, you got one too. I don't know. Let's so give it a review. Yeah. Ready? Let's try first. Interesting. Interesting. That's like a tea milkshake. Uh huh. Yeah. It's not bad. Is it sexy though? A little bit. Cream is kind of sexy. <laughs> One thing about China, right? They have VR everywhere. So this mall not only has like VR experiences, but like all these different VR products. Oh, it's good. Tastes like pears and yogurt. <laughs> I haven't seen White Boy before. Oh, there's some intense card battles going down. Pink card is very cute. <laughs> Guys, I have zero idea what I'm doing. I came into this store 
paid and got three of these in a trolley. <laughs> Go! Akus? I got it, I got it. <laughs> One more. Oh, that was close. Mine goes. You're mine. I got a goose. I got a bear. I got a duck. I got a Well done! We can exchange these nuts. Well, guys, yeah. I'm good. I'm So, where are we now? Beef noodles and rice. Yeah. Maybe it's us. And guess what we got? Beef noodles and rice. Yeah. Look at and the this portion. This is braised beef. Chunky braised beef. Look at the portion. Yeah, it's a big ass bowl. Yeah. Beef skewers. Up on here. How are you going to be? Meal in total was about thirteen dollars fifty. Pretty good. We got these huge portions. We got skiers, we got more coming. And then we got this is like a, a nice braised beef sandwich. Oh. Some yogurt. I ordered this one here. So I try. Look this. Oh, it's so good. Drinks here go hard. Wow. How much did this cost? 20... 25. 25 RMB, which is... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like tea, by the way, so it's just kind of... Oh my god. That's a fruity dream. That's so good. <laughs> it just tastes like a big smoothie. So we're here on the walkway, down by the river. Um, don't know what it's called, but yeah, it's super packed as you can see, but it's because it's got the best views in the city. Check it out. Guys, top tip if you're coming to Chongqing, um, you can come down to the boardwalk here to take pictures, but the main entrance, it's absolutely jammed for the people. You have to push your way to the front to get a video. But if you keep walking under this bridge here, so past this bridge, uh, it just gets really, really quiet. And actually it's got the best scenery here for photos. It's elevated. There's like a set of steps. It's not too busy. You've got like this elevated view of the city skyline. This is definitely the best spot. All right, back in the room. Got some Chinese wine. I don't know if they're really known for producing wine. It's called the Great Wall. Actually, let's do a live taste test. This tastes like wine, doesn't it? This is Cabernet. Gernicht. Sounds German. Das ist Gernicht. Last day in Chongqing. I'm, I'm too old to do a million different tourist activities. I just came to see the city really. Feel the vibe. See the lights. We get the red light. Wait. We're one here. We have, we have to get on the blue line. But the blue line is up here. So we need to change. We need to get one stop. To Zhao Shizi, then get the f off. The Zhao Shizi, change to the pink line, and then go to Chongguang, and then by God, we'll be getting a taxi home. From oh, I'm gonna record you and see people's reaction here. Thank God we are here. Finally here at the ring. Oh, so hard to find Futuristic this. Botanical Garden Mall. Um. Pretty sick. This is only the entrance. That's also hot pot. Probably 
<laughs> so, Every good point is hot pot. Have you decided what you're gonna eat today? Beef. Beef, of course. More beef. Yeah guys, we just had to go for some western food here. Since living in Minecraft, I've been getting ads on my IG for Beef Wellington. So we're on this street guys, and I have no idea what I just stumbled across. Should I go inside? Where you make wishes, I think. You write down the wish here. I don't know. But they're all over the place. I'm gonna try some street food here. Cartilages cup. A cup full of, full of good old cartilages. <laughs> Should be tasty though, it's uh, really fatty. Literally <laughs> I thought the cup was feeling a bit heavy. There's a secret compartment under. I can't lift it, it's really And they gave me a soft drink. <laughs> mm, Coke and cartilages. <laughs> I'm ending the night with a Chongqing beer. It's not great, but it hasn't been in the fridge either. We're also going to sample these pastries. Bao's pastry. These actually look fucking delicious. <laughs> a lot of last minute changes to the plan. I was meant to go back to Bangkok, but actually misread the visa as I explained earlier. It's a transit visa means you have to move on to a third country. My girlfriend had a return ticket for Bangkok as well, but she wanted to come last minute to Korea. We didn't get her visa approved in time and the Koreans are quite strict on the ties right now, so they wouldn't issue a ticket. I'm here by myself. <laughs> She's gone back to Bangkok, so I'm just here for one or two days. I don't really know if I'll do much, but... It is Christmas in Korea. 